Welcome to Collect Diffuse, our favourite bolt hole to go to. It's 25th February and as you can see the weather is fantastic. Let me show you around. Over in the distance you've got the golf course. Coming around you've got some big hotels. We tend to stay, we'll always stay in townhouses, villas etc. Over there you've got the Euro Spa for your shopping. Follow it round. Right in front of me in the distance there. It's one of the main reasons I come here. That's an absolutely fantastic diving centre. And then all the way around to the furthest point you can see. It's about a mile and a half away and it's slightly downhill from here. So this is our favourite restaurant, Nesta's, um, Argentinian restaurant. Lovely food and then upstairs you've got the Zanzibar where you'll get a lovely pint of Canarian IPA. On the side there you've got some of the cheaper accommodation. We've stayed there ourselves, just little bungalows with pools, nice and cheap. That's the edge of Coletta there with the market on, coming round. Some of the bigger hotels, over to my favourite place, the dive centre. Sheridan Hotel and this is the main road that runs all the way down to Jandir area and then looking across to some of the mountains. So here you've got the Altinko shopping centre with a few small shops in, a big Euro spa for those that are staying in accommodation, self-catering sort yourself out and for those who don't participate in local food there is the dreaded McDonald's all the way around and then some more hotels so this is really sort of the southern edge of Coletta itself as we know that's looking towards the Salinas Ridge um, fantastic dive site and then obviously if we just come around again the Elba Hotel the Altinko shopping centre, a little Castillo, fantastic beaches and again looking towards the dive centre and out over the Atlantic Ocean. So this is a beach just in front of the Altinko centre as you can see, lovely sandy beach, a little self-enclosed cove where the children can play in footballs but you really need to watch yourself because you don't know what you're going to see on here a little cafe over there all the way around Again, looking back over the beach, just in front of the Euros Bar or Tinko Centre, as you can see the little coves, fairly safe for inflatables and kiddie winks. Um, over there, I don't know if you can see by the old pillbox, quite clearly states new distant zone. So that's beyond the stones over there. And again, looking round towards the Dow Centre and back towards the main beach of Coletta. So this is the main beach of Coletta itself. The little stone structures that you see are wind breaks, but you never know what you'll find in there, so don't go looking, you may get shocked. Um, that's the beach itself, a few beach cafes where you can have a refreshment or, de or rehydrate and then back up towards Chipmunk Mountain.
taxi This area is owned by the Barcello Group. Plus hotels and apartments. And again, lovely beach. Changing area, toilets and a little cafe. This is uh, a lovely bar to sit down and hydrate with a pint and just people watch. Again, looking over the beach at Coletta, the little bay. Like a lot of these places, you do get the lucky, lucky men selling their ways, but they don't bother you. And then you get the women doing the uh, hair braiding, stuff like that. those that don't scuba dive but want to see what's under the water as you can see it's the glass bottom boat there the little pink submarine looking down to the water sport centre during the summer months they have an inflatable assault course which is great fun the dive centre should be situated here but now it's gone and the new one built by Barcello which we'll go and have a look at in a minute so that's the bottom boat coming in as you can see down there it's full of mullet popular area again somewhere to get refreshments and the boardwalk and the marina itself it's just a dive center and some of the dive boats that you use over to the harbour Beach, Chipmunk Mountain, where we've sort of walked. A lovely bar up here, but for some unknown reason it's shut. And then again, looking towards the dive centre. So this is about as far east as we can go in Coletta, otherwise we're in the Atlantic Ocean. See a dive boat out there, wish I was on it, but unfortunately flying soon, so I'm not allowed to. And some more of the Barcello property. As a diver, I've seen thousands upon thousands of fish under the water. Here I see lots of fishermen all the time, but I've never actually seen anyone catch a fish more hotels again this is coming towards the end or the tip of where we're going before we turn back to head back up the hill so I'm just going to show you where the infinity pool is so basically from the corner of the hotel follow the path up around the coastline itself 
over to like the cairn over there just drop down to the side and you should see it you can only see it on a low tide let's go and have a look so there's the mound of rocks let's see if there's a chipmunk in there down to the infinity pool as you can see it's quite busy because the tide is low So the airport's just over that hill. Right, time to go and hydrate in our favourite tapas bar in Coletta de Fus, Café del Town. Let's go and get a beer. Cheers. Cheers. So that's a dog and duck. Quite famous for large measures. If you like wine, ask for a large wine. It's almost a bottle. And the spirits humongous. So we're just coming to an area now where the spot under the clutter where a lot of the like cheaper coffee type food if that's your style and enjoy not really for us but very popular and you can watch football or any of the sports there as you can see it's quite busy This is just a range of what I would call tat shops. If you're looking for it, you'll probably find it here. So this is an area that we frequent quite a lot, that we do like for food and drink. Right in front of you there you've got the step in, absolutely fantastic for food and drink and when the rugby's on. Fader Rock, which a lot of people know about, can be get quite busy at night time, uh, but good food again. And then El Patio, used that for the first time on this visit, and absolutely loved the food, great value for me. What I'm do now is just take you down to where 15 is, another restaurant that we do like. Just gonna come through here. In that bar there, you'll get some amazing beers. A little bit more, but amazing beers, unusual beers. In fact, so you come down, you've got the Millennium Bar again, great cocktail type bar. Um, you just come down, although the shutters are down at 15, the amazing thing about 15 is they only have 15 things on the menu, and whatever doesn't sell the best that month gets taken off. Not necessarily number 15 would be taken off, it's just whatever didn't sell the best. So that's a, another restaurant we like. 
it's a nice little bar that we found um, on this trip as well. K31, fantastic beer. Nice stuff on the menu. And very good when it's windy. Well protected. And I'm just going to end up coming over to the commercial centre now, where a lot of people go for the shopping and stuff like that. So you got the chemist down there and around here, and then this is it. There it's shops, cafes, bars. Quite busy during the day. is looking down to Piero's which have a lot of live music in the night time tribute arts and stuff like that if you want to go you've got to be seated really early it does get extremely busy of course here the 60s bar and the blues bar fantastic for breakfast in the morning reasonably priced and then across here to the Cafe Nero and my daughter just loves to have crepes and stuff like that. So if ever you're into collector and you're looking for something, whether it be an ashtray for a motorbike, uh, armbands for a fish, you'll find it here in the China shop. You'll get absolutely anything you want from there. Upstairs you've got a sports bar, we've used on a few occasions food was in the past good can't really say anything just now about it because I don't really know so after that long walk up from uh, Cafe del Town um, feeling a little bit um, dehydrated so we're going to stop off here just to get a little bit of rehydration it used to be called the, the windmill our children used to love it because they had a, like a little playground but that's all changed now but again nice to get to uh, a little bit of rehydration done. Cheers. <laughs>